Hello, all of you. So this is about this video is about how to score CENTEM in your computer science in your 2024 board exam. So I just prepared a blueprint based on your sample paper, your 2023 board papers and your compartment papers. So let's get inside the blueprint here. So you can see here that generally we know certain things. We know that in the question paper, we would like to divide it into three parts, right? The three units basically. So in those three units, so you have a unit one, we can call it as the Python part. And we can take a unit two, we can make it as a networks and unit three, which is going to be SQL. So we do not have the NCRT book available is not the best available so far. So maybe we cannot just restrict ourselves to NCRT and we cannot also blindly follow any other book, whether it is a method or a prepare or a whatever book you have, you cannot follow that also. So we have to go by the syllabus while preparing for computer science. So in the syllabus, it says there is a 40 marks weightage for Python and there is a 10 marks weightage for networks and a 20 marks for SQL, making it a total of 70 marks. So we all know this pretty much and it is going to be very easy to score sentiment in computer science because it has been around eight years. They have not changed anything much in the way they are questioning. So however the sample paper is, the board exam paper will also be in the same way only. There will not be any surprises as far as computer science is concerned. And yes, there is only one set throughout India. So there are no set concepts also for us. So the paper is of the same difficulty for all of you. So now when I come back to how this, the networks will start with the least weightage one. Networks is 10 marks. So what we have to study, there is nothing extra to study here. So networks, we have to stick to each word in the syllabus. So I have made already videos on computer networks and it is more than enough to go through that alone. And yes, as, as the time progresses, I will be uploading worksheets on each topic, tests with answers, so you can take up the test. And uh, may, with that minimum preparation, I think you should be able to score this 10 out of 10 in networks. In networks, there is one one mark question and there is one two mark question. There are two two mark questions. <laughs> the two mark questions are straightforward questions only, like, like networks, what is what is a modem, what is HTML, what is XML. So it's like a straightforward questions here. There are no surprises here also. So five marks gone here. There is remaining only one five mark case study question. We already know what the case study question is. They'll give you a land design. We have done that also. In land design, they'll ask you five questions based on the case study. So it is going to be like, what type of topology will you choose? So I've already told you, you have to either choose the minimum uh, bus, topology or you could go for a star topology whichever topology you choose you have to give a justification for that that's what is important usually the marking scheme will say avoid ring or mesh other than that any other answer should be acceptable for that question and then where is the server going to be placed it is going to be in uh, the system in the uh, block which has the maximum number of computers then they will ask you if there is a voice thing happening which protocol so one protocol question will be there they can ask you which you will for downloading, you will say FTP. If they ask about voice protocol, you will say VOIP. So email protocols, SMTP, POP3. So answers are going to be straightforward there. Then they can ask you about what type of network is formed. That you can also answer by saying whether it is a LAN or a WAN or a MAN. Then they can go on and ask you some questions based on whether it's a firewall is required, whether it's a repeater is required, whether the hub and switch is more than one computer is there, you definitely need a hub and a switch. So this five marks is going to be, 10 out of 10 is going to be so easy for you to score in networks concept. You don't have to even sweat here. This is done. Coming to SQL, you have 20 marks. Off late, previously it was very, uh, a different scenario with CBSE. They used to ask us a lot of queries to write. So we had to write a lot of queries to get those marks. But now if you look at the concepts of how they have divided the SQL part, there is a first time uh, divided into database concepts. So what are the database concepts? So what is a domain? What is SQL? What is meant by definition DDL? What is meant by DML? What is degree cardinality? So all these keys, what is primary key, foreign key, candidate key, these are the theory questions that are there. So database concepts has one mark, which is very straightforward. You have to just pick out having clause, group by clause, some straightforward theory question as an MCQ there. And then, there are going to be, in your case study, there are going to be two questions, assuming like, for example, the majorly repeated question is, they give you a table and ask you to identify the primary key with reason. 
So you have to just say, if you say roll number is the primary key, why are you choosing that as the primary key? The second question also could be on the same concept asking, which could be the alternate key? So that you have to answer. Otherwise, they ask degree cardinality. They give you a table. They ask you, what is the degree of this table? What is the cardinality of this table? And they can also ask you, what is the Cartesian product? In that, what is the degree and cardinality? So questions based on that are going to be covered in your database concepts. Again, the SQL video is more than enough to do this part for you. And then they have actually given two questions in output. Like they gave you one table and ask you to predict the output of the uh, queries. Same way they are giving two tables and asking you to predict the output of the queries. So like that, there are two, three more questions in SQL. And there is only one question. If you look at the SQL query or the theory based on these queries, that is, I mean, correct this sentence. Uh, they tried to insert something or update something. What is the error in this query? Those type of questions are included here. So that is one simple one mark question wherein they are even asking you to classify, create as a dash command, whether it is a DDL or a DML command. So such is simple questions are there for you. And uh, they have a two two mark questions here. And usually it is a general, what is domain? What is, uh, what is the use of uh, this clause, having clause in group by? And uh, what is this null? So is null, they will try to give you equal to null and ask you to correct that statement. So those type of questions are asked in your two mark questions. And there is only, to be frank, only two marks for writing a query on your own. They're asking you in the one of the case studies, write a query to do this is only for two marks for you. Then interfacing is very interesting because in the compartment paper, the compartment paper, they have asked you a four mark program for interfacing. Generally, we have a five mark in that one goes here to review of Python output question, and they were giving only three marks for this interfacing SQL. So now uh, they usually give fill in the blanks, wherein they give you a dash for import and dash. They would want you to be very clear with function names, whether it is connect or connector, then cursor, execute, and whether it's fetch all, fetch one. So they were fill in the blanks. There was three fill in the blanks till the sample paper. But now in the compartment paper, they've actually write a program which you already have done for your practical. So they just say, write a program for doing this, creating and uh, displaying all the details, something like that, a simple program they're asking you to do with all the details given already. So that is our three marks could be anything, but it is going to be from interfacing. And this time we have to be a little more careful because there is a change in syllabus. In the change syllabus, they have included format function. So you have to also be ready to pass parameterized queries for this function. So whatever you have learned for your practical is goes the same for theory. So I think in database concepts, SQL, and not only with practice, you can easily score this 20 out of 20. There is nothing further to be done here. All the videos have all these concepts covered for you one by one. You can just go through them and I think you'll be okay with this. Next comes our major part, which is Python part. If you just look at it like that, it looks like 40 marks for Python, but if you split it up and see, the entire weightage is only divided into three topics for us. The first part is review of Python. That is the concepts that you have learned in your 11th grade and functions. So that is my first part, which is marked in gray for you. The first seven topics were from there. Then you have your file handling, and then I have my stack. So this time in data structures, I have moved the list to the top, which means data structures list queue is not there here. Only stack program carries three marks, and there is one theory question on based on stack. What is peak? What is push? What is pop? And all those things. Or maybe they can give you a question like push five, pop three, and they can ask you what will be the content? How many elements are there in the stack? What is the content of the stack? So those kind of conceptual questions on stack could be your one mark MCQ there. And a standard stack program. We have already done this. So stack, there is only one three mark question where they can ask you to push and pop anything, whether it could be a list or a dictionary. So that is a definite in this unit one, the last part that is. The stack part is four out of four or five out of five. It is completely covered for us. Now, coming back to file handling, it's again one easy 15 marks to score for us because in file handling, they have divided it into file modes, like simple one question. Definitely, they're asking from what is the read modes, like RB, what does it do? If you want to open something in a binary file, then what should you use? And then at the end of the file, whether the pointer will go to the end or at the beginning. So these concepts of file modes, you have to be thorough in. So one question comes from there. And one question they ask based on tell or seek. So it could either be just simply tell us what. 
So you can just choose from the option or they can give you a program and ask you what will be the content and what will be printed, something like that also they can ask you. So that is our one mark to one mark questions from the basic file modes and tell C, file pointers concepts alone. Then you have in text files alone, you have through four marks. So the four marks, one mark is for any simple text file question straight away, like uh, what is uh, read lines, what does write line do, what does it return back, this is a list or a tuple, what is the return type of those functions, what does row count do. So these kind of questions they can ask as a one mark question or again here also they could give you a program, a small program uh, and f dot read of pi and they can ask you what will be printed. So these are some things which they can ask in text files and yes. The main part is our text files three mark program. We have done a lot of programs and we have to do a lot more programs also. So it is only one three mark question where they will usually ask us one of the three models. They can ask you to count. So usually it is a search. There is an 80% chance that it will be only a search question, search and count question. So they can ask you to count the number of words, count the longest word, count the longest line. Or they can ask you how many vowels are there, how many he, she is there. So questions based on the concepts that we have already done for text files, that is one three mark question for us. There is a very rare chance they can ask you to just open two text files and transfer some lines starting with this alone to the another text file, which also we have done. So that is the maximum possible they can ask in this text file concept. Coming to binary file and CSV file, there has always been a gray area here. Like which one is case study and which one is a five mark question. But we have to be prepared for both. So this time, they are going with a binary file as a fill in the blank. So they're giving you different statements and you have to fill in four blanks there. Import pickle, the pickle dot load, pickle dot dump will all be empty. So syntax you should know very thoroughly here. And in CSV files also, they're asking you to write a program. So here also there is actually one theory. Here I can say this is as one A and this is one B. There's one theory question wherein they're asking you the difference between text file and binary file, text file and CSV file. One theory question for one mark. And there is a four mark program for us. And the four mark program is so far, they have not asked delete or update in a CSV file. They have only asked add and search. So count. There are three functions that we have already done for CSV files. So one of this is going to be a four mark program. We know it's very, very simple because the logic is going to be same for you. You start with import CSV. When they say add, you say ABCD is equal to whatever they are asking you to take. And then you just say write row. So write is done. Just you have to be thorough in the basic syntax of all these files. So with this, I think this 15 out of 15 is very, very easy to score in your file concepts. Coming back to your unit, the first part, that is the review of Python part, this carries a full 20 marks for us. So this 20 marks, we have to keep on practicing because in 11th standard, I'm not sure how much you have studied given importance to computer science. So it is all the basics. So it's always better that you keep practicing whenever you find time, whenever you have time, just go through, take your system and keep on working out, okay, what happens if I do this slicing? So that is the first thing. Python fundamentals and data types. The first lesson of what is the variable naming identifiers and uh, what is open source? What are the advantages of Python from based on all these cross-platform? There are small, small words. You can just have to give a reading to whatever books you have. So that they are asking two questions, data types. You should know that how each operator works. Best way is to practice. Same thing here also, they'll give you 22 mod 3 is equal to what? The answer will have 1.0, 1 also. You should know that the answer is if both the arguments are int, the answer has to be int. So these type of two answers in the 11th standard output questions, we have to be thorough in. Then in flow of control, there is one two mark question, just mostly error correction. They will give you an answer to rewrite the program. So there will be a program where some logical error also might be there, some syntax error might also be there. You have to correct that program and rewrite it. Then comes our functions, which we are studying only in 12th standard. Functions and global concepts. So it's a very, very neat area. In functions, there's a two-mark question, which could be a theory, which could be a straightforward theory question where they will ask you, what is argument? What is parameter? What is the difference between them? What are local variables, global variables? Those type of straightforward questions could be asked, or they could also be an output-based question here. Or there could be some built-in functions which they are trying to uh, make you do. So it could be anything there. It could even be a random. Right, same way the output based question in your five mark, one of the two marks in your five mark is going to be, maybe I could ask you a random question and ask you to predict the output and give a reason for why you're saying that is the output. Strings, tuples, dictionaries, lists, so all of these things are very, very small 
placing you should know all the functions you should know so in if does del work with a dictionary all these small functions tables everything you have to buy hat in strings tuples dictionaries and lists in lists nowadays they are asking one three mark question which is a program that is there you, you could have practiced so many programs so they are asking one three mark question from the list concept like for example replace something so wherever there is a five multiple of five replace it with zero something like that or moving something so it is basically to play around with your list concept so that one program is there for us so looking at it the 11th portion is going to carry you around 20 marks in your 12th standard so if you leave away the functions and global concept also still you have around 15 marks purely from your 11th standard textbook so if you can go through that this 20 marks you can easily score so i wish you all the best I hope that this blueprint would be helpful for you to start preparing for your computer science exams. At the end of this uh, video, I have given a link on a full portions MCQ test that I did for my students. And uh, I'm very sorry that a lot of students have been asking me for joining my online classes. It is only that I don't have time to start a new batch now. I'm already held up with my old batch students. But I do assure you that whatever work I'm doing for them, I will try to upload those worksheets and try to make some videos for you also. So keep preparing for your exams and all the best.